Boricua 7 here, coming to you live from New York City in the Bronx. Okay guys, I got the, I got a story for you guys um, today. It's about um, my wife finding a phone. I don't know if that ever happened to you. Have you ever found a phone in the street? Well, my, my wife has this, this tremendous luck that she's always finding phone as well as losing them, but she loses them more than she finds them, <laughs> if you can understand that logic. Um, so she found another phone. Well, this one, other ones was just returning, the people has called back and returning or whatever. And, uh, but this particular phone, for some reason, it made me think of something. First of all, I she found it in the, in the street by, uh, by the house, we by our building. On our way, on our way, coming back from work, she found it on the floor. So, the what got me curious was that usually, when you find a phone, and this is the phone here. See, it? I don't know the brand. It has a crazy brand. Alcatel, One Touch, Alcatel, One Touch, whatever that is. But uh, what had me curious about this phone is that we've had this phone charging for over 12 hours. Within those 12 hours, it's been on, obviously, charging, plus the phone was on. And um, uh, nobody has called within those 12 hours. So I started to say to myself, um, let me make a video about this and ask you guys, the viewers out there, because me, I would say, what would you do if you lost your phone? What is the common sense thing to do? First of all, you're going to think, man, the phone's gone, I'm never going to see it if you live in New York. Because everything here is gone in, in less than a millisecond. But like we say in the New York movie. But the first thing that, that came to my head if I would have lost my phone was to say, uh, to say, let me call my phone. Maybe somebody honest found it and they're willing to return it. I'll give them a little reward if I, if I can or whatever. Because I'm not rich, but I'm just saying. If you're rich, you do what you can. If you have a lot of good money, you do what you can. But um, the person hasn't called and they haven't texted. So, and I'm not calling the person as of yet. I'm not calling nobody because there's no there's friends numbers that I don't want to call yet. Because if he hasn't called, that's what had me thinking. And I start analyzing things. Sometimes I analyze things too much, but that's the way I am. That's my it's, it's my nature, I guess. I don't know if people think like I do. That's why I'm doing this video. Because sometimes there's a lot of people that think like me. So anyway, um, I started thinking that if I would have lost my phone, the first thing I would have done was call somebody. Number one. I mean, call the phone to see if somebody would have uh, already found it. Uh, number two, I mean, if it's that bad, I'll go uh, to the precinct and see if in the area they, somebody um, turned in my phone after a couple of days or whatever. But anyway, the first thing you would have done is, that you should do, is call. And by calling, I guess you'll find out somebody found it. If they answer, 90% of the time, people here, are so conniving, not all people, but we got a lot of good people in New York. But 90% of the time, when they don't want to return it, they don't they don't answer the phone. We tend to do because we like to we like good karma to come back to us. That's why we like to return things that doesn't belong to us. We don't like to take things that don't belong to us. Okay, that's how we were raised. So anyway, I was looking through the phone and I looked through the through the pictures and I found the guy's uh, the guy had a picture there. Um, with his um, license, his, his license is on there. I'm gonna show you guys real briefly because I don't want you to get the guys. This is the guy, and he has a picture in here. I don't know if I can find it. I'm looking for it now. And now, when I need that, I can find it. Is that something? Oh, here it goes. And he has a picture of his license. Okay. And now I looked at the license. I looked at. Uh, through it, I see the guy's name is uh, Daryl or whatever, and then he says, it says here he lives in Yonkers. Okay, so Yonkers is not that far from here. Okay, I mean it's a little distance, but it's not that far. You can get here by train or bus or whatever, but it's not around the block. Like you can say you could walk to it or whatnot. You have to take transportation to get there. So I figure, you know, what the guy was doing here from Yonkers, maybe he's visiting somebody. That could be logical, I don't know. Maybe he has a girlfriend here or whatever. Because he shows some picture here of some, like a daughter, he has a daughter. But anyway, I started thinking that maybe this guy was here trying to rob somebody. 
repent. And you might say, well, why would you think like that? Because of what I told you at the earlier part of the video that if it had been my phone, and I'm pretty sure if it had been in your phone, you would have called right away to see if somebody found your phone so they could return it. Here it is more than 24 hours. We, she found it yesterday around 4 o'clock. Um, it's late, as you can see, it's dark. So I would have called and uh, asked for the phone. But anyway, they didn't do that. So that's why I'm, I, I tend to think outside the box. So I said, maybe this guy, the reason why he's in call, um, other than a bus hitting him at the way out when he lost his phone or a train or whatever, and he's in a hospital, I don't know. But I've waited over 12 hours and he hasn't called, so I figured maybe this guy was down here doing something bad. Okay, and he doesn't want the phone back. And probably he forgot that his license is there too. So what we're gonna do is, uh, my wife and I, we're gonna hold on to it for a while longer. And if he doesn't call, which I doubt it, because you would call by now. We're gonna turn it into the precinct so that if they need, if some kind of crime happen around here, that's another way of helping your community. You turn it in and maybe this guy's done this before and they're looking for him. So that's what we're gonna do. But we wait, we, we're waiting, we haven't got a text or a call. Um, but needless to say that um, it's good to try to get in touch with the person, but I'm not gonna call the person, not my wife either. We're gonna wait till they call. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hang on to it. And um, what would you do? That's my question to you. What would you do if, other than keeping it, because I know so many slickers out there will want to turn back. Other than keeping it, if you're honest, what would you do? I want you to comment on my uh, comment section below. Leave me a comment, leave me your suggestions, anything on any, even the video, if the video's not to your liking or whatever, or if I should, what else should improve in, I don't care, whatever. Just leave me uh, some kind of comment on this so I can know what you guys are thinking and I'll respond back to you guys. It's not like I got a million views. I'm trying to get views. But with that being said, this is Boricua7. I did this short video just to let you know that I found a phone and what would you do if you found the phone? So comment me and let me know. This is Boricua7, signing out. Talk to you guys later. As you can see, I'm outside in the balcony. It's nice and cool. It's like 50 something, it's cool. So take care, good night, be blessed, and we'll see you on the next one. Yo, 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 peace.